Hello, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. I wanted to give you guys my opinion on micro wind turbines and whether or not they are worth it. And uh, this is kind of just something I wanted to show you guys from my local area and give you a little background uh, wind project I watched unfold a few years ago. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the this is a Skystream 3.7. This is one of the certified wind turbines that I talked about in a video. But what you don't see, it's not just one. We've got another one over here behind this building. And it's not doing anything. And uh, if you go to the far post over there... You got another one and it's not doing anything. And we come on over here for a minute. And there's number four and it's dead as a doornail. Now, on any given time, you know, I see maybe two out of four of these things working. Um, I know Southwest Wind Power went out of business. I don't know who maintenances these things, but I think, uh, if I remember correctly, I saw a story where they paid about $60,000 and they talked about the payback period on these wind turbines. And I guess, you know, if you do that figuring that all four of them are going to be working, maybe that payback period works out. But when you take into account three quarters of your project doesn't really work. Um, I take that back. I think two of them, I've, I think I've seen two of them work, but not really so much. Um, yeah, that's going to affect your payback period. So, I mean, these have nice tall towers, um, had every chance to work, they just don't. And in this case, I think uh, solar would have worked out. Now, we were just you know coming along the scene back when they installed these and maybe they should have maybe they should have bought a hurricane I don't know but that's just my two cents um, you know now that one stopped but you know we got pretty good wind today and uh, power production here doesn't look so great so I'm thinking in this particular instance, if maybe they would have put up some solar panels, they may have been better. Um, you know, I'm not knocking small wind at all. We still put up a bunch of it, and we have a lot of success with it. So, um, you know, it just depends uh, where you're at, what product you put up. I am especially not a fan of these wind turbines. I believe they had the grid tie in the generator head, which, you know, putting the AC electronics in the generator head up with all the vibration and everything, in my opinion, was a terrible design from the outset. Not surprising to me at all that they don't work. But this is a tour of four Skystream 3.7s installed and local taxpayer money at work so um there's your tour not hating on anybody just that's the way it is tony from hurricane wind power out